doing a uh, video on my experience with a uh, treadmill wind generator, the hub. Uh, the way I approach this as far as setting up the, uh, the blades is I bought a compass and I cut the middle out of it so I could place it in the center. And there are six blades, so I staggered them at 60 degrees all the way around. Now the problem with this that I encountered was I made a mistake and I put right rotating blades on it and I didn't realize that the hub, or I don't know if all of them are like this, but the hubs are, they unscrew right side and so what I ended up having to do is drill a hole through the shaft and put a uh, screw through it and a nut to keep it from spinning off when the blade started rotating. That was a kind of a screw up right there of my own. But I guess it's a learning curve. Uh, so once I got my center lines on each hole for the blades off the compass, set that up for my uh, secondary hole to make certain that they were uh, in line with each other. And I took it all the way around. I couldn't fit any more than six blades on this hub. And other problem that I experienced in this hub is I uh, I couldn't get nuts on the back. And I don't think if you ever done this, don't even think about putting nuts. There's uh, the rib there's ribs on the back, and it just creates a, a nightmare trying to get these things set right. So I ended up tapping them. And when I would tap them, sometimes the screws would land on side of inside of a rib on the outside and I would run a tap through it and break it so this is my experience with uh, setting up a uh, wind generator hub and thought I'd let you know about it if you give it a shot maybe you can uh, skip some of the learning curves that I went through